Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022. Uh, we're here in October. We are actually going to jump to uh, November as there's no more contracts to do. Uh, and we're looking to sell uh, a few of our products uh, in the month of November. The rates should be a little better. That's likely our canola as well as uh, the potatoes. So let's go have a look at uh, those right now. Run our uh, potato pile. So if we come in here, uh, we can see the price of potatoes uh, is actually pretty good here at Goldcrest Valley. Uh, let's have a look, see uh, at our. Yeah, can't get much better than that. Uh, there's some prices going up, but six sixty nine is pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna tag the place. Uh, you know, I'm gonna have to learn. <laughs> or memorize, I should say, where each of these uh, places actually are. I uh, should be able to see it from here, can I? Uh, da, da, da. No, uh, hmm. Other. Oop. Uh, do, do, do. Yes, okay, so Goldcrest Valley is where at this point? Uh, let's have a look-see. Oh, it's the train, it looks. No, nope. is it? No, nope. okay, it's over here. So let's get uh, into our tractor, not our combine, not this tractor, not that tractor, not the truck, this tractor. Uh, because we need to get a bucket, uh, but first we're going to do is we need to drop uh, this. Let's get that down on the ground. And we can release that. The other thing I want to do... Oh, no. Huh. Okay, let me do a few things here. We are going to remove this weight. That can go there. We're going to come back, pick up our front loader, because we're going to need the front loader. I thought I was releasing the attachment. Oh, you know what? I need to switch it. There we go. This should. There we go. We're good. So that's removed. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to clean up the yard just a tad because uh, it honestly, it's a mess. I would like to say this is abnormal for me, but uh, no, I just keep things very messy, including my current computer desk. We're going to take this uh, combine trailer. We don't really need it. Um, I don't respect uh, probably proper farming etiquette especially at least with this combine. It's fairly compact. Beautiful trees, but we're getting a little glitch. Uh, might have to see, I thought I had all the updates in, but that's not very uh, pleasing to look at. But let's get to the store uh, and get this sold. Just pulling up into uh, the store here. Uh, I want to make sure this is actually in the sell point. Pop out. And we do just want to sell this trailer. It's in mint condition, of course, because we haven't used it. Uh, we will sell it. Uh, let's just double, double check. Yeah, okay, I'm on the right. Uh, don't want to accidentally sell my tractor. Get out of this. Uh, we'll come into the store. We'll check the used vehicle sales. Uh, there's a shallow cultivator nicely on sale, but don't need one of those right yet. Don't have slurry. Don't have ability to do manure. And I don't need this particular header at this point. Not looking to make that investment. Uh, where are... There we go. Front loader tools. We need a universal bucket. Uh, I think this will this will work. Uh, yeah, let's just buy this. 
This will allow us to get our potatoes. Uh, into one of our, well, our trailers. And let me get them to market. Let's come on over. Uh, hope, so, last episode, we did acquire the, the front loader uh, with a bail spike. It was, whoa, 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 my first time using it. So it turned out okay-ish. Hoping the, uh, the bucket is a little easier to use. And one of the things that I did not record uh, was the lowering of the bucket where I, I, I bit, so not the bucket, but the bail spike. And I lowered it so much that when I was trying to turn a corner, it wouldn't let me because I basically dug into the, the road so much. Things to know, things to know. But we got a lot of good clearance here. Our objective uh, of today's episode is to obviously sell some of our produce here, uh, both the potatoes and I think we'll sell the canola, but we're going to start with the potatoes because I think they've got the best price at the moment and we got to get all the way over there. And it's a beautiful day. You know, this is this would be a nice crisp fall day. Uh, would love to be outside. Uh, beautiful fall colors, you know, the matrix glitching. I mean, everything's fine. So we got to come up here. Oh, we got to cover on, on there. Let's turn the cover off. Get back into here. So, all right, let's see how we actually use this bucket. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. Okay, so we got uh, so we're using the Xbox One controller uh, for those that are, are new to this uh, series or my series. Uh, I'm on the PC, but let's. Oh, so let's try this. I think we just need to do that. Come around. Whoa, oh, whoa. I may not be able to walk and chew gum at the same time. And this is like my button smashing, uh, when I, you know, play a first person shooter like Halo, I have a challenge with. Okay, we'll move that up a bit. All right, so this will get us up high enough into our trailer. And we just need to... Okay, this isn't too bad. But it is a little unnatural because I'm using some controls I don't normally use. I think in real life this would be a lot, lot easier. I would hope, because uh, you're not likely going, oh, okay, I need to hit the the left button uh, and then use the right control stick, hit the trailer. Oh, no, no, oh, I think I most of one in. I think we're okay. That is not okay though. Let's get that a little higher. All right, I will spare you the rest of this going in and out, and we will be back with a full trailer load. Well, all the potatoes in the trailer. We are just picking up the last of our potatoes. Oh, huh. As, oh, right, 100%. Okay, so not exactly all of them, but we're getting there. We are getting there. So let's uh, let's line this up a little better. Got a little discombobulated as I was trying to get the last little bit. I thought this was the last bucket load. Oh. 
Thankfully, I didn't actually call it, but I thought it was, so. Had a few little mishaps with the front loader, I will admit. Not on camera. I wasn't recording. But still getting used to the bucket movements. Uh, apparently also backing up. But we're getting better at it. Getting better at it. I was a little worried uh, about how complicated this might be. I think my biggest challenge besides the I might have to switch the up and down movements because when I use the right stick I have to remember to kind of push up. To me that's not natural. And the other one is making sure, see like right now the bucket is just too much on the ground. And there we go, got the last little bit, 17%. Uh, where I feel at times what I'm doing instead is uh, I'm not getting it exactly. So I wish I wish that little game mechanic was a little easier. Oop. Oh. Oh, technically that went in. But we're good. Okay. Uh, see? And maybe the black on black wasn't the best of, of plans for me. But I love the black looking trailer. There, there we go. We're good. We're done that. So we're just going to back this guy up. Uh, we're going to move him over here because I need to do a UE to get out. So let's just kind of somewhat park this out of the way. And there we go. We'll hop into this guy. And actually, we'll go out this way. We can do a loop around. And I really hopefully can figure out how to do something with those flickering trees. If anyone has any ideas as to what that might be, I would appreciate uh, if you leave a little comment in, down below as to how I can fix that. Now before we actually head over to where I've tagged, let's come back in and just do a quick little check to make sure that is still the best price. Yes it is. $671, it's actually gone up uh, $2. I'll take it. I will take it. So let's get over there. It's on the far corner of the map. All oh, those flickering trees. The Matrix is not happy. Now, if we see a black cat, um, we know the agents are coming. And that means things have been reset. But hopefully, they'll just let us go about our business here. We're happy farmers. So let's get over to uh, the cell point. Come on. Oh! Oh. Uh, I thought it was part of this area. Hmm. Well, that was a bit of a mistake. Uh, but it was also a mistake uh, from the county here uh, not to put up barriers to prevent me from doing what I just did. No state troopers, no local sheriff. Uh, I think we're good. So we'll just cut, cut across here. Uh, we'll try to find the legal way back. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh no. They found what I was up to. Uh, alright. So let me, uh, find my proper way there, and, uh, we'll see you there. So just realize that the Goldcrest Valley is the train station, so I think this is, uh, one of the spots where I can rent the train. Although there is, I believe, one closer to my farm. So let's unload the potatoes here. Uh, let's, uh, oh. Kind of got stuck in this animation. There we go. And the potatoes are gone. So we're going to head back. We're not actually going to rent the train at this moment. We're going to head back to our farm and get the canola and uh, come back here and sell the canola there as well in one train load so that we don't have to rent the, the train twice. Uh, hopefully try to remember how we got here. 
over this little bridge. Yeah, see, this is the, the area I thought it was, so I just followed the, to the, the green beam of light, but was slightly off. Let me get back to the farm. We'll pick up the canola, and we'll see you back at the train station. We are back at the train station uh, with our canola, uh, 8,000 liters, uh, only 43% in our new trailer. So, which I like, which means a lot more capacity uh, for future harvest. So come in here and we will just watch this canola flow. This will also be the first time I'm using the train station. Oh, look, wait a minute. I wasn't actually gonna spend much time looking for collectibles around here, but I drove in this way and look what I see. A collectible combine? Wait, I, I don't think I've... Oh, let's get around. Hello, collectible combine. Oh, ah, dang it. Nine harvesters. Oh, there's a whole lot of other stuff I haven't found then. Um, I wasn't actually going to look for collectibles, but let's, let's do that. Let's, while we're out here... In this neck of the fields, where there's not many woods, I'll have a, a very quick look around here to see what I can find. Uh, so let's stop, hop out. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't think I can get up top. We're gonna have to get rid of the god beam or the alien notification. I'm not sure. We'll get rid of that there in a minute because we don't need to come back. And that's where I think we activate the train down there. We'll just run along here. Uh, I'll hop up there on the way back. Okay, so up here. Can't seem to get up there. Bring it up these stairs. But there's nothing. Okay. Can I climb up that? Nope. That would have been a spot to put one. So we'll just come back along here. Now, if you happen to think I've missed one, uh, please... Uh, leave a comment down below. I don't think I can go up those things. Okay, so that that was nice though. It was good to find one. Oh, we need to we need to get to the We need to actually summon the train. I'm like, "Okay, we got all this. Wait a minute. I didn't get any additional money." So, let's come down here. Now, I I if I would have known this, I would have come to a the other cell point. Is this not it? Huh. What am I, uh... I want to rent the train. Rent train. Okay, so train is on its way. Maybe we have a look at the map, see where it's at. It is probably closer to the other cell point, which I'll, I'll probably use next time. And technically I'm not even allowed there, the big red X. Uh, that's the end of the world, of our matrix world that we're in. Do, do, do. All right, I guess we're just going to have to wait uh, a little bit. It's uh, three kilometers away. So the train is less than a kilometer away now. Hmm, I wonder if it's coming from this direction. Huh, I think I'd be able to see it by now.
Well, there it is. Hey, train. Uh, is this Thomas the train here? Uh, no, he's backing up. Maybe that's what took him so long. So definitely, I, I'm going to try to remember to use the other one. Uh, that's closer to my farm, I think. So I th think what we need to do is hop in. Okay, it's smart enough to know I need to go down this track. So this is different from all the other cell points, which I find really cool. It, uh... So let's... Oh, how fast is it to stop this train? Oh my goodness! Oh, okay, we missed it by that much. Okay, start filling. Do the canola. I think we missed things. Alright, let's try that again. And the canola will go into this one. Okay, so we have all the canola. Now, I don't... I wonder. Can, can we... No, I think we have to put in another compartment. Okay, this takes a, a little getting used to then. Oh. I want to load potatoes as well. I don't want to rent this twice. Slow things down as we try to figure things out. Okay. Well, opening cover might help. All right. Back. There we go. Okay. So we can add the potatoes. And now we'll just back the train out as opposed to going the other direction. And we will go from $37,925 let's see how much money we made yes we want to sell well, 25,120 so not bad not bad for our, our first uh, our, our first uh, basically harvest sell um, besides from the beginning tutorial I'll take it hopefully we'll make a lot more money uh, next season because uh, we do have one extra field. But we need to make more money uh, to pay for that sign we just hit. So we're going to head back uh, to our farm and we will add in our new money making venture. Back at the farm, we've uh, pulled up here with our beautiful trailer. Thankfully, it's not showing any of the nicks from when I was uh, loading up uh, the potatoes. Massey Ferguson here, uh, which I love the red and black combo here. Uh, at some point, the Massey Ferguson is likely to be the first tractor I sell because it is the one that has the least power. But I love it still. It looks good. Uh, and we're not selling that today. Now, we're going to come over here because there's something that's going to happen in this area. Now, if we come over, uh, you can see we are growing wheat. Uh, and that is something that we'll need for some chickens. So we're not adding chickens today because don't have any wheat. Uh, we're not doing anything with this field, but we're actually going to do something with this. Uh, this building is a prop building. So I actually don't think it provides any, any useful value here. Uh, it's nice aesthetics. I'm sure in real life this building would... Uh, be very useful to have on a farm for various storage and, and various other things. You know, farming-like things that farmers do in buildings like this that I don't know, but I'll assume they do. Uh, so let's let's get rid of it. Uh, and we will replace it with a greenhouse. 
Now, I believe the way we get rid of uh, this greenhouse is we come into our construction menu uh, under others, construction, and demolish. Now, this is a decoration, so it gives us no money back uh, versus, I think, some other things we could do with some of the other buildings on our property. But let's get rid of that. And now it's gone. We'll have a look at the terrain. Uh, terrain kind of looks fine. I don't think we need to do anything with that. So the next thing we're going to do is come into productions, uh, greenhouses. Now we have a few options. That's a nice little small one. Not a bad size, but we're, we're going to go big. Uh, I'm not... Let's... Where is it saying I'm overlapping? I think we'll put it... Oh, actually, you know, maybe we'll stick that. Hmm. You know what? No, we, we will stick that. I think right there. That looks good. So now we've got it built. I think it's looking pretty good there. But a greenhouse by itself does not make it something that works. So if we come in here, uh, no active productions. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, this is ten thousand dollars. I'm just gonna waste because I put it around the wrong side. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, and this is where city skylines would save me. I would just okay. Well, lesson learned. I was so focused on one part, I missed the other. Now this will give us at least half our money back. Oh no, that, oh, very early in the game, not very good. But okay, it is what it is. So we're gonna rotate it around. Collides with player. Pull that up. There we go. Oh, that hurt. That, that, that hurt. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm, then I might do that contract. Oh, that's not good on itself either. Let's come into landscaping. Uh, where is, can I? Come in over here. I, I don't think we can. So uh, maybe smooth it a bit. It's the first time using these landscaping tools. I would so love move it right now. I think that's a little better, a little less janky. I think. No, it's massive. Oh. Hmm. And it is so hard to see. Maybe at least that will help. Okay, it's a little better. I might, uh off screen, come back and play with that, get that fixed up a little. And maybe, maybe just uh, resolve that. Yeah, I think I'll resolve it off screen. And the reason why I say that, because I think in, in real life, obviously, we would have picked a location where this would not have occurred. Um, but due to the game, that occurred. So that over here, I assume I caused that. I don't mind that. It's not like this is a raging river. Okay. But like I say, this does not solve everything. So if we come in, uh, okay, how do we get in? Open, switch to, there we go. Xbox controller. So 
So if we come to manage, uh, we need water and we have no water in the greenhouse. Because even if I activate this, it needs two water to make one lettuce and we're missing materials. So let's get out of this. We'll come back to the store and double, double, double check, uh, but nothing else has popped up in the use sale. So we need to find tankers. Uh, specifically, uh, something can act as a water tanker. It took me a moment to find where in the tool section uh, water tankers are. And it's actually under animals. Uh, and we have to scroll over to our right. So we have this little guy for 3,000, uh, has 2,000 liters, 6,000 liters, 7,300. Uh, now we could go up where this actually can start holding things like milk, I believe it is that one. Um, but we just need the water. So we're going to buy this guy. Let's customize it, see what we get. I think those look fine. I uh, don't need the wide tires. I think we're good. Uh, we will buy this. And we're just going to head over to the store and uh, pick that up. We are just coming up upon the store here, and yeah, we're going to grow together and harvest together. Um, now that, I know in the multiplayer game, which I've seen some people play online, obviously you can have some friends in, um, and I, the other way is with the AIs, uh, in terms of if you have extra equipment, you can have multiple people harvest. Now, that's not what we're doing today. We're fall. There's nothing to harvest here. So we got our little water trailer here. Now, maybe thinking, well, shouldn't we head back to the farm? No, we're heading uh, to down here where I believe we can access a river, a lake. Uh, let's have a look, see what this is. Yeah, little lake. and I completely am one, two over. So let me get to the right spot. It is along this road here where we've got this little lake. Now this would be some nice property to have. I have a affinity for the water. So beautiful. I'll also do some landscape photography and I could see myself coming here at this time of year. Especially getting the reflection of this tree. But this is where we're gonna come in and we will, let's see, how do we, with, just gotta get to reset to, okay, just gotta hold down. No, I just gotta press it, and there we go. The left trigger, or sorry, the left joystick, depressing that will fill the water on the Xbox. I haven't figured out uh, with the Xbox controller on PC how to pull up the help menu. I just use the F1 key on the keyboard, and then when I do that, it thinks I'm purely playing by keyboard, but that's eh, not, a, not a big deal. We are just pulling back into our farm. I think we'll take uh, this entrance in. Uh, we'll come along here. We have a full tanker of water. Now off screen, I did come in and readjust this. Uh, hopefully this isn't going to be a problem. Oh, it's, it, oh yeah, slightly. I think I can back in next time. I don't think that will be a problem. Now, what I do wanna try to find is, I think there's a mod that will help me adjust, I think some terrain that I'm not technically allowed to edit. So even though I spent some time trying to at least smooth this out, uh, as you can see, it's still quite bumpy here. Um, so I will do that off screen. I did add back in the money for having to move this back slightly. But with that, uh, we'll hop out here and we will just come in and double check that we have everything uh, properly set up. And yeah, uh, we do not, obviously. So we're gonna activate, I think we'll do lettuce. Let's start with lettuce. 
Now, as you can see, we have 7,300 liters of water. Uh, we're good for now. Uh, so I think this is where we're going to leave it for today's episode. We've replaced an old decoration and added in a great uh, greenhouse. I think it looks really good here. Uh, leaves us some open space. We might put something here. We'll see. But for now, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. If you have any comments, uh, please let me know below uh, as well. If you know the name of the mod that will allow me to help fix some of this terrain, I would very, very much appreciate it. With that being said, until next time, bye for now.